Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to In the Bottle. I'm your host, Sandy. We have five wines today from California, Oregon, and Washington. The first one I'm pouring myself is the 2010 Shehalem Inox Chardonnay. Inox is the French term Inoxiable, which translates to stainless steel, which is how this wine is aged and produced. Um, most of the grapes for this particular vintage come from the Stover Vineyards. Uh, Shehalem was started in 1990 by Harry Peterson Nid Nidri. Um, he is also part owner in uh, the estate vineyards of Stoller, Coral Creek, and Ridgecrest. It's a sustainable winery. Harry is also the winemaker. The wine is clean, crisp, with good fruit and acidity. Definitely a go-to wine for those people that don't like their Chardonnay oak. Real pleasant wine, probably about $20 a bottle. We're going to head up to uh, Washington State now to the Tamarack Cellars up in Walla Walla. This is their 2010 Firehouse Red. They call it Firehouse Red because the winery is housed in an old firehouse on an Air Force base. The grapes for this come from the Columbia Valley and more specifically Horse Hill Heavens. Uh, Red Mountain and the Rattlesnake Hills area of Columbia Valley. Uh, Town Rock Cellars has had a couple of their wines placed in the Wine Spectator Top 100 the last couple of years. Uh, the 2008 Firehouse Red was in the 2010, number 49 in the Top 100, and last year their 07 Cabernet was uh, number 39. So there's a lot of uh, good history here. Very well respected producer up in Washington. It was started back in uh, 1998 by Ron Coleman and his wife Jamie, and Ron is also the winemaker. Uh, sees 40% uh, new French and American oak for 16 months, and they make about 10,000 cases of this wine. Pretty nose. Um, Interestingly, this is a blend with about nine different grape varieties in it. Everything from Cabernet, Merlot, Cap Franc to Zinfandel, a little bit of uh, Petit Verdot and Carmenere are blended in there as well. Nice, well balanced. Medium to mild tannins. Real nice wine with a great history and um, well respect. Um, again, about 20 bucks a bottle. Uh, we're heading over back down to California to Capio Cellars. This is their 2010 Chimera Pinot Noir, Sean Capio. Started in about 2001, somewhere in the early 2000s, I think. 2001 to be specific, after uh, learning to make wine and working at uh, Jordan, Pine Ridge, Peter Michael, as well as other wineries around the world. Um, he makes the Capio wines up at O'Shaughnessy, up on Howe Mountain, where he also makes the O'Shaughnessy Cabernet. Uh, the Chimera is a blend of several vineyards in Sonoma County, Sonoma Coast area. Nice nose. Nice oak, good fruit, pretty well balanced wine. Need a little bit more in the glass. Nice color. A very pretty wine for those uh, people that really get into Pinots and uh, definitely a, a wine worth finding. Heading down to uh, the Central Coast to our friend Randall Graham at Bonnie Dune, his uh, 2007 Le Cigar Gallant. For those of you who uh, know Randall, or about Randall. He's a very crazy one of the characters in the wine industry. I've heard a lot of stories about him. I've never had the opportunity to meet him yet. Um, the Cigar Volant is a uh, Rhone blend of Grenache, Syrah, Mavedra, and Senso. Most grapes come from the Bien Nacido vineyards. Um, 
read a great article about Randall in the New York Times uh, a couple weeks back as he is a big proponent to have wineries have to put the ingredients of the wine on the label as he does, if you can see it down there. Um, as there's a lot more that goes into wine other than just grapes, yeast, um, many things people, consumers should know the way uh, foods are labeled. This is an old world style wine. The way that you find it in Rome, peppery, drier, not a big fruit bomb like you would come to expect from the Central Coast. Good pepper, mm. real pleasant wine if you like your spicy, peppery wines, good with lamb, other meat dishes. Um, probably run about $30, $35 nowadays, but definitely well worth it. Uh, last one of the day is the uh, 2009 Stelzner Claret. Nice dirty label. Stelzner was started back in 1955 by the Stelzner family. Uh, they have their own vineyards in the Stagli district of Napa Valley. In addition to using um, state grown grapes in this, Claret. They also buy some fruit from other vineyards in the southern part of Napa Valley. Uh, Cabernet, Merlot, Cap Franc is the blend. Sorry if I Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cap Franc. Medium bodied, good fruit. Feel those tannins in your mouth. You know, increasing, nice, lingering finish. Very pleasant. Definitely feel those tannins coating your mouth. Good wine with red meat, steak, definitely. Other kinds of maybe wild game, but real good wine. And that's it for today. Oh, by the way, the Stell's Nurse should probably run you about $20, $25. Great value, 2009. Very highly rated vintage in Napa Valley, so that's a skill. Uh, thanks again for joining me on In the Bottle, and I will uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.